right, so throughout the unit so far, we've taken a look at Alice's height as in terms of a base two that she grows. And we have this to the C number of ounces. How many ounces of cake does she eat? That doubles her height as she goes. We understand this rule that if it's two to the zero, that Alice's height's gonna get multiplied by one. And so two to the zero is our one value. And the other piece that we came up with was that this additive law, that if we have the same base and different exponents, we can just add the exponents and we get a new resulting power. Our graph so far is this swooping curve of an exponential growth. It gets steeper and steeper as we go. And what we're gonna look at today is what happens when she eats different kinds of cake and drinks at the same time. So the activity having your cake and drinking it too is an activity that talks about her having an actual meal of cake and drink and what's the outcome, what's the product. It takes that metaphor, which still fits and works so beautifully for them in terms of their intuitive understanding, and it allows them to see what's going on when cake and drink cancel each other out. So the very first question that they look at is this idea of what happens if she eats five ounces of cake and she eats, drinks five ounces of drink? What is the net result going to be on Alice's height? And immediately and intuitively, they understand that there's no result. We take that and we apply the additive law, which says what happens if we have bases and we raise them to powers, and do we add the powers, and how do they cancel out? And we see, again, that a zero power, the canceling of those exponents, allows them to see that the answer is one. We're going to multiply our height by one. Um, so it evolves through the metaphor into the additive law in that understanding of, of the power of zero. It continues to ask some questions in question two of what happens if she eats five ounces of cake and then she drinks three ounces of drink? Will she grow or shrink? Intuitively, we understand she's going to grow. Mathematically, we understand that she's going to grow. And what's the result? We're subtracting the exponents. We're taking cake and subtracting the drink ounces. So what happens to, how come this, these two numbers stay the same? That's the base. Because the base cake is always times two, and the drink always divides it by two. So that it cancels each other out in the sense of when you're multiplying by a half, it's like subtracting the um, exponents. We do the same thing repeatedly, and then we're asked to do this wonderful thing that IMP does, which is recreate the same results but make your own questions up. Once they get really comfortable with this idea that it is two, as a base, even though drink is one half, we're gonna take two as the base and we're gonna subtract the exponents. It asks you what if we change the rules and we make it more drink than cake? What are we left with? A net result of decay, she's going to shrink. So where on the graph does that fit and how do we make sense of that idea? Um, so as a teacher, even though the questions seem to be really concrete and easy, we wanna make sure that we're connecting it back to the additive law, we're making sense of the pieces so that they can connect that one half to the negative or two to the negative three is equal to the one half. That if it's a base two to the negative third power, then the result is decay. That we've seen more ounces of drink than cake and we're gonna be at one eighth. Give me one of your Alice ones and tell me a story of Alice that goes with it. So um, we decided to think out of a box on this one. We did. Um, well, one of our earlier ones were just like like two to the third times one half to the zero. That was, that was too simple. So we went with two to the three point five times one half to the point five. So the the point five cancels out the uh, three point five. So it, it's just two thirds. Another important piece throughout this entire unit is to make sure that we're keeping things in fractional solutions. If we allow students to convert to decimal, we're going to lose the value of the power and how it implies to the two. So the patterning of base two and the patterning of one half is really valuable if we keep it as a fraction, but if we turn it into a quarter and a half and 0.125, then we've lost some of the patterning that they're gonna see that comes out later. We're gonna have students work in groups. Their work is together and individual, but we present question one. We do question two we present question two. We do question three, we present question three. Um, it allows them to have a layered approach and to hear and communicate those ideas. This is one of those assignments that it's one assignment, but we really wanna make sure that we're layering the share outs so that they can hear and understand and absorb what's going on as it happens. The story. Okay, so imagine a world where she was just getting done at Red Lobster. And so she was kind of full 
But she walks into this new palace and she's like, whoa, there's cakes in here. So she has, like, I'll take an ounce, but you know, you can never just have one dollop. So she takes a second dollop, and I want a third dollop. And then she has a third, she's like, I don't want a whole nother dollop, but I'll take a half a dollop. And like, she treated herself to a night out. She gets half a dollop, then she's like, well, I want to lose this weight. I instantly feel bad about my decision. I was trying to lose weight. It's swimsuit season. So she goes, how can I lose this weight? She finds a beverage. Well, I don't want to lose too much weight. She's not trying to like look weird. She doesn't want to like feel bad about herself or losing too much weight. She just wants half an ounce. So she drinks half an ounce of liquid, and then it cancels out to the point where she's still at eight times her height, but she's not at a little over eight, and that's what she's happy about. Day two, after this assignment is done, I would make sure that I reviewed the ideas and that we're posting the understandings that we have, that what is going on, two to the zero equals one is posted. Very present and available for students to see. When we get to two to the negative four and understand that that is one over 16, that's posted and on the board and that we're aware of it. So there are parts that we have, responsibilities as teachers, that even though they've done the discovery, even though they've done the assignments, we want to make sure that we're summarizing and communicating and making it public for everyone to see. Um, and this is an assignment that does a lot of that for us.